So, a couple of days ago, I put up a content, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, I'm gonna link it above. And it was basically about a gentleman who lived in diaspora for many years, you know, and then unfortunately was removed, um, sent back to Africa, and then, but prior to getting removed, he had uh, built a home in his mother's name, uh, which was an absolute red flag, and then also had two vans for transportation also in his mother's name so the long and short was he got home and then the mother in an improper collusion with his siblings um basically um blocked him out wouldn't let him gain access to his assets and stuff like that so i uh, took people through that story and it gained quite a lot of traction a lot of reactions and my inbox were uh, was inundated with you know a lot of um emotionally uh, written, you know, emails and people sharing their stories. But these particular email stuck out for me. And I thought, okay, off the back of that particular content, I will bring this because I think it would work well and also help to sort of strike a balance. Now, these women, before I crack on, this episode is sponsored by Sendwave. Sendwave is basically an app that you can download on your mobile devices, be it Android or you know Apple iPhone, within the two shakes of a duck still. It allows you to send money from the Italy, Ireland, you know, United Kingdom, uh, Spain, and United States of America to Nigeria, Ghana, Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya. All right. Um, if you use uh, my promo code Franklin you get five pounds and or five dollars or five euros added to your very first uh, send wave um, you know transaction right um, also for this week if you're watching this for this week if you are sending money using send wave to Nigeria from any of the locations Nigeria alone um, you'll have 18 naira okay added to every single amount of dollars or pounds that you send if you're sending to nigeria this is a special offer from sendwave okay you add 18 naira added so that's basically just giving you extra okay to encourage people and the people your recipients will basically have a bit more money in their back pocket which is not bad anyway that's that and use my promo code franklin as it's spelled on the screen on my channel and share with your friends and family all right to get your uh extra you know five pounds five dollars or five euros that's that so this woman um basically sent me um this email and said franklin you know uh this story that you shared you know is far too common within the diasporan community whereby you know diasporans um relying on friends and families particularly families and so many catastrophic stories <clears throat> it's a common knowledge so the point here is this woman said her story uh with her ex who's now ex-husband was you know they both lived in the states and then he became um, the longer shot was he became promiscuous and he was frolicking around. He had, they had issues with him having side chicks and all that, cheating on her, according you know, to the email. They both uh, migrated years ago to the States and according to her, it was a great relationship. Things were going good. Over the years, uh, husband been caught out with you know side chicks and this and this and this. And she said she forgave him you know, over and over and over. The woman then said, fast forward to years, you know, the husband has a notorious track record for, you know, philandering with side chicks across the states. And um, she said he grew up, he grew a business where he was selling cars interstate within America. Through his previous place of work, he became friends with some couple of Chinese dudes. So there's this particular Chinese guy that really liked uh, her husband and basically showed him, you know, the nitty gritty of the business which was advantageous so he started selling cars interstates across america and he was killing it so she said when she couldn't deal with the whole vicious cycle of you know being subjected to this emotional roller coaster of um picking up the tabs uh, of of you know the cheating that was coming from the ends of her husband and all that stuff and 
people had, some people advised her to to separate she said her gr greatest fear was she didn't want her children to um, end up being products of a broken home and then because of her background as well she was so terrified of divorce she couldn't even think it through so because of that he had the opportunity of repeating you know subjecting her into that same process for you know years after years people would say oh, just focus on your children leave him blah 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 and then she said there was a time the breaking point was i think there was a time when he had traveled to africa on holiday and then he came back and of course they made love as couples will you know would normally do and then about a couple of weeks later she developed some type of rash and mm. so ah that's terrible the long and short was you know she had them to go see a doctor and realized that she had been given um std by you know this man so he also was dealing with some rash and burning sensation and stuff i'm not going to go into much details but you get the picture right went to see doctors and then they uncovered the fact that you know he had given and that was crazy so some of our friends rightly advised her that this is crazy imagine if it was hiv if it was something worse and, and, and stuff you know and then you know again it was a cycle of apologizing she even said a couple of pastors in credit to them said there was a particular pastor that actually blatantly said in one of the meetings that he had washed his hands of the man's situation that the pastor literally walked out that what he was doing prior to all of that was just trying to help as far as he was concerned to see that this family is not broken down but he he's seen that the situation had reached a point that the man is just is a completely terrible case uh so whilst all of this was going on here's the point he was building properties back in africa he had it was similar to the case that i shared before he had the property in his mother's name and he was because she said she was already talking about divorce because divorce was on the cards she said she wanted separation they had reached that point so he was building and then she, he did she, she he didn't tell her anything she said he was building back home he was doing things in his mother's he even had uh, she said he even had um a big um goat farm and catfish business all of the things he was doing back home he was using his mother's name and I think some of his siblings he did nothing in his name because people had told him that you know if he was going to get separated she could trace his assets and all that stuff but here is how the thing went banana shaped so eventually whilst he, he built he had built like two major properties the third one as well and stockers was making a lot of money selling cars and car parts and doing things in the states so she said his family back home then took advantage of that situation his siblings involved it was a major orchestration they absolutely cleaned him out he said they took over of three properties they took over uh uh, they ran to the ground the catfish business and some other things that he's got monies with a lot of monies went missing and so the man and at that time he had moved out of the house and all sorts and so the woman said they had divorce you know going on and stuff you know he felt like he had things you know back home so he had monies and bank accounts that were not in his name i don't know the how complex that was so the longest shot was his siblings and some other cousins within the family structure his mother was at the center point of the frauds that were run against him they cleaned him out they took the three properties a lot of you know, fraudulent things and kept everything so he went back home she said he nearly lost his, his life that he was actually shot at in his vehicle on one of the building sites he said that it was shot at twice and fortunately he wasn't in the vehicle i think they tried to take him out and he he ran and stuff she said 
the whole thing with the separation was finalized in 20 was it 2016 or 2017 and she hasn't seen him ever since he's gone down under somewhere he's just gone into hiding and she doesn't know where he's gone to so um the long and short of this is again this side of things is a common practice where people um people basically would be in relationships and they would use uh family members to sort of um um kind of launder money or um, put family members names on their investment because you're trying to hide from your partner let me just say this let me cut the chase if you are in a marriage or a relationship with someone and you are you have to go to that extent whether you're a man or a woman you're building in secret you you have to use somebody this is what i keep saying i'm not going to you know you get the picture already the question is why are you in that relationship that's for me that's just too much that's too much man that's crazy amount of effort so basically the plan what you're trying to achieve they use that against you to rob you blind so you've lost everything there was a woman who some would say it's karma in a sense i've got to be objective i've got to be you know be fair as a dude i think it's karma because you did your wife dirty based on the story people say there are two sides to every story i agree but based on what i got told all right if that's truly how it happened and it's not unusual to be honest then karma i think karma came for you in a big cape in a mask with a sledgehammer and slam donkey i i think I think that's what the case is but if you're going to be in a relationship with someone and you have to go to that extent to hide assets to hide investment to hide money you know building properties in people's names just because you don't want your wife to know or you don't want your husband to know get the hell out of the relationship get out just get out that's you know that's the way i see it anyway that's me done um what do you think let's keep the conversation going on below it's your boy franklin thank you for watching uh, if you want to support my channel you can do so via paypal via patreon or via cash app if you look in the description below you find the relevant links um if you want to send me your stories food channel 1960 at gmail.com all those information are in the description box below if you're watching this on youtube all right hit the like button hit the subscribe button and check the rest of my videos and it's your boy franklin i'll definitely catch you in the next one peace and love bye now